Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 8 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm working on some stuff, and I'm joined by loads of people tonight. Who's hanging out? We've got Tog, Aurelian, Floristar, Prague, Quetzi, Tema, TTFT Cuts, and CPW are all hanging out. What's up, everybody? Hey. Hello. Hello. Hello, Dyer. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, CPW's girls. It's so adorable. It's true. Um, I'm building... I need to fix the workshop. It's broken. Yeah. What happened to it? I noticed what nobody my... nobody stepped in to fix it, it, so I have to fix it. Well, it's your workshop. Gee, thanks. I've been too busy making a charging station. <laughs> yeah. What are you oh. charging in the charging station? Once. It's a uh, thumb crackle. Oh. To be oh, fair, I, I think we only noticed it was broken this afternoon, so... Cool. Let me do a little crafting, guys. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. We're back. Finish crafting. Because that's always fun stuff. So the workshop should have power once again in a minute. Uh, what I discovered, guys, is... I don't know if it's because it updated or if it got nerfed. One of the two, probably. Um, but, long story short, all of a sudden... Uh, my wind generator is not generating any power at all. Like, not a drop. It just says zero. So I, th I can't imagine it's nerfed that badly that now it doesn't produce any power, because that would be kind of silly. But uh, it's definitely not working. So I'm switching it up, and I'm getting a liquid heat exchanger, which is a complicated-looking UI, but it's not too bad. And I'm getting a sterling generator, and I'm going to put that right there, and that should be cool. Um, so the sterling generator takes heat and generates EU, and the liquid heat exchanger takes liquids and exchanges the heat that's in them. So hot liquids like lava. Ah. So let's see if this works. So this should drain lava into the liquid heat exchanger and it should generate EU. But before it can generate EU, we have to give it heat conductors. So for each heat conductor, it can generate up to 10 more heat units. And for each heat unit we have, we get half as much EU. So Let's see, 50, it's a little buggy, I think. I don't know why it's capping out at 40, because it should cap out not that high, but eh. But long story short, we should be generating EU now, at least until the point when we ran out of space for this stuff. Pahoho liquid? I don't know what it's for. Thunderdog told me it can make something, and whatever he said it makes, I was not interested in, so I said, okay, and forgot about it. Wait, what are you using to generate EU from lava, Dyer? The liquid heat exchanger? Uh, I just use a geothermal generator. I don't... it wasn't that complicated. Well, I'm having more fun than you do. All right. That's fair enough. All right, I'm going to step out now. I'm getting a bit of network lag here. I think my network's going a bit dirty. So oh, I'm, I'm going to catch you guys later. Yeah, many of uh -huh. us have had Bye. issues staying connected to this server for some reason. Oh, really? It's been derpy today? Yeah. I blame... I'm going to go ahead and say I probably want to blame Industrial Craft because it updated and now it doesn't work. Although Q said it stopped working before we updated, so it I wasn't don't know. working this afternoon. I was watching Q stream then. Problems. Yeah. I don't know why we're getting one less. If I made five more of these, they would bump up more. Um, that should not be the case. See, like we're getting forty out of forty here, twenty out of thirty. It's definitely being derpy. Looks like every two heat conductors it works better, so maybe I should get more. By the way, the more heat conductors you have, the faster it drains the lava. So Ari, is this the first time you're on Forgecraft since we updated? It, it very much is. I literally just punched trees and I now have a stone pick. So nice. I'm very far in the game. You're pretty much yeah. done, you win. I pretty much won Forgecraft. We can go ahead and reset again. It's great. Right. Make it so. 
So guys, the main reason I like to use lava is it really is one of those fuel sources that like it immediately stops using the liquid as soon as it's no longer needed. So we won't be wasting lava. And that's kind of a good thing, especially where we're at right now. So guys, the workshop is back up and running. The only thing I'm waiting on now is the um, induction furnace to start catching up. It's up to like 40%, so it'll be a little bit slow for a few minutes. So yay, workshop's working. I'm trying to decide. Let's see. I see a couple of people added a few things. Like we've got, we've got some ender cores here. I might want to move those outside though, and they've not really grown much, so I'll move them now while I've got the time. No, they don't grow much unless you spam them with the water again. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. We'll uh, we'll set up some automation for those at some point once I've got resources to do so. I was going to stick some golems on them once they got to nine. User joined your channel. Nice. Hey, Iku. Hey, Iku. Iku. All yeah, right. So, what other watering can equivalent things do we have that, like, doesn't permanently steal hearts from you? <laughs> uh, we've got. That's annoying. <laughs> we've got blood magic can do it. Uh, I'm not sure I want to get into blood magic. No, no other like more tech, less magic. Ones. Um, can't use the sprinkler from open blocks. That doesn't work. No. Vex that one works on bone meal, and that kills them off. Oh. Well, I, I don't necessarily mean for like uh, ender pearls, but like just just in general. Like I have all these pneumatic craft plants that I want to. To grow, um, right. And right now, I've just been using either bone meal or the watering can. So, anyone know if the sprinkler works on those? Sprinkler applies bone meal. Watering can and uh, blood magic apply growth ticks. So, whatever material uses bone meal will work with the sprinkler. All right. So, what I'm going to do, guys, right. I need a couple ender pearls because my I was under the impression that the Buildcraft pump chunk loaded, but it certainly doesn't seem to. Sure, I got some. <laughs> so I'm going to um, get some Ender pearls, and then I'm going to okay. get some obsidian. What's up, Floor? I harvested wheat, and I just got fifty strings of side client pulling. Cool. What? And it hasn't stopped. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. I will, uh, I'm going to replace the pump I have in the nether with the endothermic pump. All right, guys, we're back. Made myself an endothermic pump, which was cool. And now I should be able to replace this guy. Um, I think he needs to go, like, right above the lava. So let's put him like here. And then these guys here. I should really get into blood magic because it's a good way to travel around. Maybe that's what I'll start working on today. Trying to just decide how I could make the workshop like helpful for blood magic. That's really what I'm thinking. Like, how can I do that? All right, so that should be cool with that stuff. That can go there, and hopefully this will work now. Just give it a little bit of time, and we'll head back to the workshop. I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys, we're back, and I'm stealing meta bases. Or is that Tema? Yeah, it's Tema's machine. And I want to snag a feather from these flying flowers I just found in the overworld. Just a reminder, anybody who leaves junk in the chests is mine. I keep it. What about junk in the trunk? Nope. That you can have. <laughs> I want no part of that. I mean, the joke. <laughs> uh, the reason I want a feather is I want some scrubbing tools. I decided I'm going to get... Um, 
a bit of some Thomcraft stuff set up in the workshop for people. Does that sound nice? A bit of what? Thomcraft stuff. Oh, Thomcraft. Yeah, so like I'll get. The... Is that sharing book enabled? Because if it is, I can give you like 90% of all the research straight off. Oh, really? Well, one thing I need is an axe. To-do list. Make a thumb, make a tinker's axe. Term of knowledge sharing? Yeah, that's on here. Cool. You'll have to make it then. Yeah. It's pretty easy to make too, from what I remember. Yeah, if you have yeah, a lot of the research done already, that would save me a lot of time. Yeah, I have almost everything. It's just a few of the cami things I don't. Wow, nice. I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> really been uh, going to town on Thomcraft. Cool. Well, because I know there's new stuff in Thomcraft, so like, I want to check out the new stuff, but at the same time, I don't want to do a lot of the intermediate stuff that takes a while to get to the new stuff so yeah i'm all about that yeah there's apparently what is it called warp that's like nasty yeah that is a problem hearing about it <laughs> what is it there are now forbidden researches and if you do them you get warp the more warp you have the worse it gets for you i get like actual headache events where the screen like blackens and you get thumping noises and all the kind of stuff Ooh, one just happened there and i crashed oh it's from doing research? There are some forbidden researches. The re research mastery, infernal furnace, flesh golems, uh, advanced golems, um, butchery core, um, the staff core of the primal, primal one focus, they're all forbidden. And if you do them, you get more warp. Right now, there's a bug where sometimes when you have one of these headaches, it would apply a potion effect to you, but it's got an invalid thing, so it crushes your game. So you might not oh. actually want to get a book from me because you'll get all of that warp as well. Oh, I get the warp from you when I get the well, book. Well, if deal. you do it and you get those researches, you get the warp from those researches. Right, but if I if you share the book with me, I won't get warp? You will. I just, oh, I will. Yeah, I, I haven't remembered that, so it's probably not a good idea after all. Okay, so getting... you share. So warp comes from the fact that you have the research, not when you yes. learn the research. But also, you can get it from building certain things. Like if you make a brain in a jar, or if you make a primal one focus, you also get warp. There's no way to get rid of warp. It's there forever. Oh, is there a way to see how much warp you currently have? No, except for the effects that you get from it. Oh, fun times. However, there's, there's you weird can... little particle effect artifacts too. Sometimes, have you noticed that? With what? I mean, at the moment, the Thorncraft particles are completely messed up. That's a thing that was because of Thormic Exploration, and Nico actually has a fixed version in incoming now. Oh, there it is. Warp Flux and all things bad. Haha. -ha. Cool. All right. So at least there's an article in here about how warp works. So let me take a look at that. Um, researching forbidden magics or crafting objects of questionable nature tends to distort a thaumaturge's view of reality. Uh huh. Yeah, it's, it's supposedly meant for discouraging you researching everything, but I've researched everything anyway. Yeah. Interesting. All right, and then flux. Oh, crazy stuff. So I'm guessing that the ones that have, like, smoky effects around the research node are the ones that cause warp? Correct. And then, like, what? Just, like, while I'm playing, I'll get random problems? Um, yeah, most of the time it's just a, well, they've all been so far headaches. Apparently you can get hallucinations as well, but I don't think I have enough warp from just doing the research. And gotcha. so I'm not going to make anything that's questionable. But, um, it like, uh, darkens around the edge of your screen and you get like a thumping heartbeat sound. And obviously sometimes it's meant to apply a potion effect or something, but at the moment it crashes. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Is it like really distracting? Because I don't want to have that on a, on a video if it's like super... Um... Like, I don't like to have nauseousness particle, like the motion no, it effect. Doesn't, it doesn't wobble the screen. Like, I it's mean, not... Is it that it, annoying, though? Like, or is it just, like, a little bit weird? Well, it's, it's certainly nowhere near as bad as wearing a pumpkin, but it darkens, like, the outer quarter of the screen. Like... Oh, okay. So it's kind of like wearing a pumpkin. From what I've seen. It just... You get a heartbeat and a vignette around the screen and... 
with something whispering, you gain a research point in something. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. All right, works for me. Uh, well, let me then do some research, and I guess we'll see what it's about. Like, does it happen a lot, or...? No, not really. It's happened like... Well, it's, that was the first time it's happened since you came on for me, so... Okay, cool. All right, so I haven't done much scanning of items yet, so maybe I do want to do some of... Well, I don't know. Do I care about the warp? I'm not sure if I do. Well, it crashes you, hmm. so you might not want that in the middle of a video. Now, uh... Here's an interesting question. Uh, Alright guys, let me go you... ahead and just look around a little bit and get stuff ready and then we'll be right back. Alright guys, while I'm working on this, TTFT Cuts wants to show us some of the cool stuff that's new in Thongcraft, so I figured you might want to see it. Hopefully I don't crash. Maybe it's just taking a while to load up. Lots yeah, of frame rate lag here. Oh cool, you got the Everfull Earn. Though the particle effects are particle definitely effect. broken on that, I guess. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, Thong Exploration thing. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So what you got for us, buddy? I like your house, by the way. It looks really nice. Yeah, I got the uh, energized node here with the transducer in that, and it's uh, powering. I don't know if oh, the gotcha. lasers are currently broken for you. They sometimes don't show. I'm seeing them. They're pretty dim, but I definitely see them. I'm going to scan this ore node. Oh, nothing can be learned from this. Interesting. You might want to scan the ones outside, then. Yeah. I don't know why nothing can be learned from that aura node. Maybe because it's inside uh, the Because field. it's energized. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. So, I got you. So, instead of using, like, the fire aspects from cooking stuff down, you can keep the infernal furnace running by using the power from the aura node, and it drains fire aspects, yeah. I guess. Well, it doesn't drain so much. These are now a rate um, of, like, hundreds of a V per second. Oh, really? <laughs> Wait, what do they do? Uh, if you look here at the wand, you'll see it charging. Oh, nice. So yeah, I know you can recharge wands in the table. Um, and I, I guess this is just to relay it. Um, yeah. This relay being yeah, they, here, does that charge the furnace? Yeah, it powers the furnace. Um, cool. Because it's attached to it, I presume. It's here in jars, but it's a lot slower now if you use that. You, you meant to use these to make it go really fast. Oh, okay, cool. So when you drop stuff in here... Make it non-whitelisted. Nice I don't know that that would happen. I presume. All right. Nice. All right. Oh, by the way, if you ever want to process um, Quicksilver, this is the best place to do it, because this furnace gives you extra little uh, one-nights on nice. that. Nice. And you can't get that anywhere else. Very cool. Yeah, I definitely want to go through the process. Like, does this thing recharge faster because it's in this transducer thing? It doesn't recharge. It's a rate. It, it's you can't charge a wand off it, and it, it continually makes output. Oh, no. I see what you say. So no longer does it have any any V yeah, stored in it. Capacity. It's just like it's just producing V at a rate, and like there's no yeah. there's no storage of it. No, but the um, the rate that it is is based on the rate that it would have regenerated in its maximum capacity before. So I found like a really robust node and it breaks it down into the six primals. It was all like, um, it was like the Fodio and, and stuff like that before it broke it down. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So you have all six primals inside that node? Yeah, also it's a sinister one. So I've got like ethereal blooms outside stopping it going crazy. That's cool. So where's your nodes at? Uh, just outside, you'll see them. Uh, I just out the door and down to the right. Out the front door? Yeah. Oh yeah, wow, you have a lot of nodes. Oh, you just have, okay, I see, charging stations, but still a decent amount of nodes. I know where I'm coming yeah, to uh, to do stuff. I lack the knowledge for some of these nodes. But I definitely know where I'm coming to recharge yeah. my wand now. Well, this is the public station, or it will be. Oh, nice. I'll keep that in mind. I was going to build a, a wand recharge station in the workshop, too, but I'll definitely come here until that's up and running. Well, I think I started building this because I asked if you needed a hand with that. Oh, okay, cool. I can bring nodes here, then, I guess. Are we... I've got absolutely tons of them marked. I'm just waiting for the wand to recharge to go get more. Cool. Oh, I see. So you're recharging your wand. Okay, I gotcha. That's cool. 
Yeah, right now the actual charger, I, I have got builds, but I'm not, we're not out there because I've got one node that's fading there and it's it'll eventually be stabilized and I'm only going to put it back once it's stable. Gotcha. So those node stabilizers repair them from fading state too. That's good to know. Yeah, but only up to pale. Gotcha. Um, the other thing is this altar, the infusion. If you need to use stuff anytime soon, it's like the most stable it can be. It's got nearly 200 candles underneath it, so it's really, really stable. Nice. I will definitely be coming by to help kickstart my uh, thomic experiences here. Um, that's cool. So yeah, I definitely want to try like making some of these things so that you know the YouTube audience can see what it's all about. Of course, I'll have a spotlight up once Azanor tells me go, but you know. Yeah, cool. it's really cool stuff. At the moment, the only thing is that the the relay sometimes is and You have to keep knocking them out and putting them back. User but, joined. Yeah, we'll get there. Right. All right, so I'm going to go back to scanning all the things. Hey, Way. Hey. How's it going? It's going well. Uh, cool. Quite a bit of nausea. Ha, <laughs> sorry. Oh, well. I don't know if it's all from me, though, because I turned it off, and I hadn't taken any damage when I turned it off. Eh, yeah, probably my, my base just finished it off. No worries. Cool. All right, guys, back to scanning things, and then I'll get started building some basics from Thalmcraft. All right, guys, we are back. Uh, believe it or not, the server crashed since the last segment, so there's been a significant time lapse between that segment and this one. But guess who showed up? About time. <laughs> probably some guy who's a little derpy and that we should probably start blaming. Oh! Oh, it's Mr. Soren. How are you, sir? Hello. Good. Yeah. Trying to find a place to live. Oh? We live in the workshop. Yes, but in the future I know we'll want to move. So I'm oh. trying to pre-plan. So you're uh, you're looking out for, for a good place to go move to eventually. Yeah. So Way of Time is totally going to regret giving me his sigil of the Green Grove because I'm going to use this quite a bit and he's gonna log in and just be dizzy all the time he's gonna be like what happened to all my life points oh that's right i gave direwolf something that was a mistake it was clearly it was it was a big mistake i have to say i'm making currently a sugarcane farm as you can see with the bottom right hand side of my screen i've been in scan all the things mode so Currently, I'm watching this extremely long backlog of things and research points that I just earned. Let's scroll through. Hmm. I just spent a good 10 or 15 minutes scanning everything. And now I'm collecting the sugar canes. Many a sugar cane. I decided to put the sugar cane farm right next to my rubber tree farm. Yeah. It seemed like an appropriate place, right? Yeah, close enough. Yeah, actually a pretty good rubber tree farm at that. Though, I don't know if it's, I don't know who, who I need to complain to about this. Probably way of time. But like, there's a desync issue, and it seems to only be with his sigil of the green grove. I haven't noticed it with any of the other items. But like, locks will look like they've grown, but they really haven't. And if I re-log, like, it'll not appear grown anymore. But if I break it... Yeah. Like, it's not grown. So it's not really grown. It just looks like it's grown on my screen. So, like, half the time I'm breaking these, I'm not getting anything. Which is not a big deal with sugarcane, but it really hurts right. with, um... You know what it was killing me on? And I was, like, constantly re-logging and logging back in? Uh, was with the, um, ender lilies we have. Because they would say mm, fully yeah. grown, and then I'd break them, and I wouldn't get oh, an no. pearl. And I was like, no! <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad thing. So I need to I need to yell at him and be like, hey, fix that. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is. Fix it. See, like this one says it's grown, but it really might not be. So yeah, I just I just pretty much scanned a lot of things. For the purposes of getting paper, by the way, so I can start researching. Um, I'm also. Did you hear about warp, Mr. Soren? About what? Warp. 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 Yeah, it was just explained uh, to me. Okay. What? So, like, uh, Thalmcraft added a new functionality called warp, and it's kind of like 
a negative side effect to your player be, as a result of either doing forbidden research or creating forbidden items. Okay. And it causes your player to sometimes get um, like a headache effect, which apparently darkens your screen. I don't know exactly what it does. And I'm a little bit of afraid to like play with it right now because, um, <laughs> yeah, right now <laughs> it's it's doing a bad thing where it will crash your game because it's trying to apply a debuff oh. to you and it's bad debuff. Yeah, and that's why I keep DC. Yeah. Oh, I got you. So I'm yeah, gonna get like the good research stuff. There, one of the research upgrades apparently has warp on it. Is that true? Yeah, uh, research mastery. So air and spirit. Is it a permanent thing or is it like a temporary effect? Well, the amount of warp you have is there forever, um, but it needs to discourage you getting all of the forbidden researches. But I did anyway because I want the Thormic Tinkerer stuff. <laughs> and I didn't know what it was gonna do. Well, to be <laughs> okay. fair, I, I I did like all of the research and it wasn't doing anything. And then a new version of the mod was put on, and suddenly I started oh. having terrible effects. Oh, so it was obviously okay, not yeah. yet implemented. <laughs> this will cripple them for a month. Yeah. Alright, so I have to get from Mortis to Ordo. For Dito and Permutatio. That should work. I always hate, like, the first research that you have to do before you've gotten, like, the show me what the things are in the crafting table bit. The research mastery stuff. So that's always the, one the first one I complete. The one that's forbidden is the one where you shift click and it makes it without having to put it together manually. Oh, evil. Oh. <laughs> evil. Like, I'm afraid to do the forbidden knowledge. Well, actually, it does say mostly harmless in the parentheses, which, by the way, I like the reference. Yeah, mostly harmless. Yeah. I think you have to pretty much do all of them to get to the point where you start having the crash ones. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, well, I mean, crashing, by the way, is probably not the intended side effect. <laughs> Like, it's not I meant to know. crash your game because you did the forbidden research. It's, it's, it's apparently meant to give a debuff, effect. right? What's that? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it's a potion effect crash. Don't know why. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, he probably, like, read, like potions are weird to mod, I know. Yeah. Or so I've heard. So, so far, it doesn't look like that one. I'm going to go ahead and do it just because, like, I want to see a little bit about what this is all about. Um, this warp stuff. All right, guys, so I just completed the research mastery. So apparently, this will give me some warp. It had no immediate effect. But apparently, my character is now forever debuffed with a small, mostly harmless amount of warp. And Mostly I, harmless. Yeah, mostly harmless. What the end effects will be, I guess we will only eventually find out. I'm a little bit afraid. Oh, you know what I can do is I can go to TTFT's house and fill up my wand. That would be nice. How's that uh, wand recharge station coming? Uh, 11 nodes and counting. Wow, the nice. The stabilized, so the, the uh, pedestal's back now. What's that? The pedestal's back now. I took it away because I had a fading node there that I wanted to stabilize, so no one drained it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So I can go ahead and just drop it on the pedestal. It's cool. Yep. Yeah, if it, if it doesn't, like, um, you know, you can also charge it on the, the bit upstairs again on the laser. Right. You know, I probably but shouldn't honestly, use my... My my yeah, base wand, because that will and actually. They'll charge really. They'll charge really quickly on the table upstairs anyway, so you might as well use that. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, and that won't have a chance to actually like destroy your node. I nope, totally want to get. Good. So if I want to have no a node that's gonna supply all aspects, like I have to find one that supplies all base aspects, right? Otherwise, I have to find well, more than one node. Uh, no, it, it breaks them down. Oh, okay. So you had like. Um, so find something that has like, like uh, the combo on death stuff. and stuff on it. Yeah, it had a load of really complex ones. Okay, this one looks like it came from like one of the little pillar things, the totems. Uh, no, it was just a sinister node out in the wild, but yeah. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, look at that. It's filling it up like crazy. Nice. That's pretty cool, man. Hang on, it's gone in wrong order again. These things keep disconnecting. Oh, it was it was going. Yeah, but it was going like directly from this one to the table. It's meant to go around like that. Oh. Why is it, does it matter? Well, not really, but I wanted it to be set up that way. Okay, cool. So just visual. Um, yeah. That's neat. Yeah, I'm totally going to be recharging my wand here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, very cool, man. All right, guys, we'll be back in a minute. 
All right, guys, so what I think I'm going to do now is do a little bit of research off camera, um, and then I think we'll come back next episode and start working on yet another component of some of the builds. What do you want to work on, Soren? Anything in particular? Uh, well, the last time I was here for was AE, but it looks like you got part of it set up. Uh, yeah, we have a basic AE system going, so yeah, it's working. Okay, so maybe we should start working on maybe renewable resources? We could. I've got, I've got some lava going on. Um, and that's okay. what's charging our IC2 system. Because last time I logged in, the windmill wasn't working. It does seem to be working again now, so that's good. But okay. I at least have a lava gen powering our IC2 system. Also, we have solar power charging our uh, applied energistic system. So that should be nice and renewable. Um, I was kind of wanting to work on either maybe blood magic. Maybe. Um, but, of course, that means we're going to need to eventually set up a mob farm. So we're going to have to plan where we're going to build our altar. And I would like to have the altar be in the workshop so that people can come by and have access to a Tier 5 altar to either charge okay. their stuff. Like, ideally, right. what I'd like to have is build, like, a crazy recharge um, and storage of life essence altar so that we can store life essence, like, in a, in a barrel or something. And then if people want to come by and, like, use the altar for whatever purposes they can. And they can fill up their their stuff or they can craft with it like basically something along those lines does okay, that sound like yeah. a cool thing to put in the workshop yeah because that way people who want to like kind of get started with blood magic but have like a nice kickstart have access to like that kind of good thing right right, right. so they don't have to start from scratch right by so the way way, yeah um eku has got like a tier four altar with a mob farm on it already oh nice <laughs> we may or may not That's be cool. missing him soon hmm. we may be yeah I don't, I don't like to see people's bases on camera without them here, though. Because I like right. to the have them here, too. Built really cool ones. Yeah. So maybe we'll see his base another time. But yeah. I just have to figure out where in the workshop. I'm thinking the basement would be ideal for this to live. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll anyway, just, for now, yep. Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, some cool new Thalmcraft updates that I'm definitely looking forward to checking out what's new with Thalmcraft and building and, and working on some of these new things that they got in here. But, you know, I kind of want to get the basis for some of the a lot of the mods in the workshop so that people who want to jump into Thalmcraft now have a good starting point, right? Like, we've got a research table down there. We've got some of the basic Thalmcraft stuff. I'll eventually get an infusion altered stuff and up, too. So, we'll see. All right, guys. Dial 20 signing off. Take it easy.